Cocaine, which is also known as Tusi, is turning up in more drug seizures and in some cases is being trafficked by the notorious Venezuelan migrant gang Trende Aragua. It's also marketed and trafficked in ways that make it a challenge for law enforcement since it's often sold in underground venues, says former NYPD Lieutenant Darren Porcher, who worked undercover narcotics. A lot of that involves around informants that that give police information that avail them the ability to get into these environments to make the observations and take effective police action against the uh, perpetrators. The bright colored powder has been gaining in popularity among the nightlife set. Its swag factor went up when it was mentioned in a civil lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs as one of the disgraced mogul's alleged drugs of choice. It's often low in price but high in risk since users don't really know what they're ingesting, says Dr. Yalda Safai, a psychiatrist and public health expert. Well, pink cocaine is a misnomer. The combination of the drugs are being used are not just cocaine, but rather a mix of MDMA, ketamine, uh, even opioids such as fentanyl. So it's really a mix, and each one of them carries a significant amount of its own risk. Regardless of how dangerous the mixture is, the bright candy color and the cheap price are appealing to many potential users. Joseph Palomar, associate professor of population health at NYU Langone, recently published a study on this popular powder. He says if it hits the hip-hop world like Molly did, we'll be hearing about it a lot more and seeing the consequences. Prevalence appears to be increasing, but it's a pretty new drug, so we don't know how popular this drug concoction is going to, to be in the near future. I do think it's going to be more prevalent, though. I mean, the answer to that, that is a solid yes, it can hurt you. And, you know, what I've been seeing a trend amongst my patients is they buy something they think is cocaine, which in fact is actually cocaine cut with fentanyl. And for a fentanyl naive person, being exposed to even a little bit of fentanyl is enough to create an overdose. So right now what's being sold on the market is, in comparison to 20 years ago, is more ambiguous, more unknown than it was in the past. Because fentanyl and lab manufactured drugs are cheaper, now the dealers, what they're doing is they're cutting things like cocaine or heroin with cheap, cheaper manufactured um, drugs such as fentanyl. So that's what we're seeing.